think the best thing about Blender as a software is not a feature or a tool within the application itself, but it's the community. You see, a lot of 3D applications like Cinema 4D, Maya, or 3ds Max can beat Blender in a lot of things. But uh, you see where Blender shines is in its community. If there is a feature that is too hard to do in Blender, you guys will make an add-on, make it very cheap so that people can use it in the community. And some of you might go as far as making it free, which you could sell for a lot of money. And even when you're selling it, you sell it very inexpensively that a lot of people in the community can afford it. You see, lighting in Blender can be a bit hard. Even in other 3D applications, setting up good lighting is a bit hard. Leo Moon Studios decided to create this amazing add-on that works with Blender. A 100% free and open source. You can just install it and it works right away. You don't have to subscribe for anything. You just have to go to their website and uh, just download the zip file and install it in blender it sets up your lighting as an hdri image you choose where to place the lighting and it creates an hdri image uh, depending on where you have positioned the lights so let's just dive in and see how to uh, to get it to work you will never find something cool as this in any other 3d application they'll put a very huge price on it or uh, make it even a subscription best service instead of uh, making it free or uh, at least uh, inexpensive as uh, the blender community does it you can s go to blender market or any other blender platform where you get uh, these kind of tools you see how inexpensive those tools are compared to any other uh, tools are uh, for 3ds max or maya or cinema 4d so so if you go to leomon.com you can go to asset store and uh, you find uh, the plugin there so you just have to go to this link here and uh, you can download the plugin 100 free uh, but uh, if you want to help the guy uh, continue developing this because this is a very very intuitive and uh, very helpful tool uh, you can also try and don donate or buy uh, the tool itself off of twenty dollars you can get it for free but you can also buy it as a donation uh, for the guy just to help him out uh, co continue working on this amazing tool so after you download it it's going to download as a zip file you just have to go under edit preferences and then install it uh, directly as a zip file and so after installing the plugin, you can just, uh, let me first set up my scene here. I'm going to use cycles here. So let me just see to it here. I have this, this uh, Xbox controller uh, that we're going to use as uh, for lighting. And I've got rid of any lighting in the scene. And let me just reduce the energy uh, of the background to zero uh, so that we don't have any lights emanating from there. And uh, so now let's set up the lighting. So after you install it, just hit N to access the tool under the tools menu to add lights. You have to create this uh, light studio control panel and that this will give you this uh, kind of image uh, so you're basically creating an hdri image uh, to light up your scene uh, you just have to create a new profile this uh, a profile in light studio is just uh, like a set of layers or a group of lights so if you you can set up different uh, light setups uh, under different profiles and uh, you can switch between them uh, if you want so let's just use profile one and to create a light you just hit this plus and that should add a light so you can see how uh, this is starting to light up our scene I can scale it up you can scale up the, the light by selecting it from this here and hit S scale it up you can see how this is uh, scaling up and also rotate using R so you're basically using the same uh, shortcuts uh, that you use normally in Blender which I think is nice so you can let's scale it up there and uh, let's add another light so add another light here, just move it to the side and I can increase the intensity here, you can see how that is, okay. let me turn on some uh, people denoising, okay so it's there, now let's add another light, we can even change uh, this, the type of light by selecting it by clicking on the, icon, the thumbnail here and you can switch between our uh, different sets of lights here, see you can use this kind of umbrella light or TV screen light so this is this works best if you have a say like a, a TV set instead of your screen time in front of your scene have a ring light you have a lot of uh, different lights and uh, if you want say a reflection around this area here at the bottom here you can hit F and you can see that uh, we have changed uh, to this brush tool here now you can select anywhere on your scene to add a light directly there now i can also add a light here let me just you can add first add a light and then hit press f hold down f and then 
click anywhere uh, so that that light is moved directly there on the AVR surface. And let's add another light. Uh, this time around, let's use uh, this fluorescent. Then we can press F and click there uh, so that we add a kind of reflection there. So you can see how quick and uh, easy this is to set up. Also have this feature where you can change uh, the color of the light. Yeah, let's see, we get this, you can choose uh, the color and then increase the saturation uh, to give that, uh, that color. So let's uh, change this to maybe so you can see how easy it is at setup lighting out of this tool. Uh, if you wanted to create a different light setup, you just select a new profile and uh, it should clear out all the lights. And uh, now we can do this again with a different uh, light setup. So I think I like that light. Let me add another light here. So just add here and then press hold on F and click there to have that light. You can also see the placements of uh, the lights in your scene and you can also select them directly there and uh, you can grab them. Uh, so moving them in the viewport also move them, moves them in the, um, in the HDRI image here. You can see how that uh, looks. Uh, so you can add another light. This time around I'm just going to scale it really large like that. And I move it in the viewport so that it's, uh, it's at the bottom like that. Maybe. I can also see the shortcuts uh, that you can use here. Let me increase the intensity of that light. Something like 10. Uh, so you can see without, without a lot of work, this is uh, the amazing results we have got. With just a few clicks. And uh, this also works with EV. Uh, the only difference is that uh, you have to convert uh, these lights from advanced lights uh, to basic lights. So if you select a light, you can see you have the option of advanced and basic. So advanced only works with uh, cycles. Basic will work with EV. So if we switch to EV here, uh, we can leave this as cycles and just in the loop dev mode, we can change, we can turn on lights and world scene so that we see the light correctly. Better. So now, if you convert this into a basic light, you can see we start to see uh, the lighting happen in EV as well. So this supports both EV and cycles. So this is cycles here, and uh, this is EV, uh, which is uh, much faster, but not as realistic as cycles. But I, I think in this case, it's hard to tell the difference they all look as good so Let's see yeah thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video